Brexit or non-Brexit, <laughs> uh, Anna Subri, who I must say, you know, I can... <laughs> I, I don't have a great tolerance for it. I don't want to put myself back in the uh, ICU uh, too quickly, but she's been driving you a bit nuts too. Oh, yeah. Well, well Anna Subra here, Mark, and, and I think she's a good example of where you start questioning kind of the party politics, because if you think back to Brexit, obviously it kind of split party divide, didn't it? Because you mm. had a fraction of the, the Tory party before Brexit. She was clearly part of the Tory party, was anti-Brexit. Mm similar on the Labour side. And I think you kind of, I think over the last five or six years, policies have gone from left and right, more to right and wrong. And, and Anna Subri, sadly, Mark, is on the wrong side of things normally. And and she was, um, she flew into follow. She's one of these where you would, some people would call a Ramona. So mm -hmm. people who just cannot live with the fact that the UK voted to leave the, you know, you know the European Union in 2016. And she was flying to Faro recently. I think she put a tweet up which I kind of called out, where she was blaming Brexit yeah. on the delays for coming in. So I think you've got it here. So yeah. you can see it. Anna Suri blaming Brexit for delays at the Faroe Airport. Now, Jet2 is one of the kind of the main airline carriers from the United Kingdom. Explained that there was kind of some strike action going on. We expect some big delays when you're going into Faroe Airport on the exact day that she's flying in. Now, it doesn't it's not a don't take a rocket science to kind of work out because she was i think she was quoting mark the fact that some irish people could go through pretty fast well if all the people are flying in from say the uk i went to germany on the same week this mark and i mm. got through pretty quick into germany because most of the passengers were german so there's huge delays going through the eu gates because they were mainly eu passengers but the fact that i was a british passenger it was quite quick so these people mark they're still blaming brexit you know six years on for anything going and it's just it's, you know, he's just getting a bit sick in the neck now.